Let's talk user-defined data functions. Another challenge I hear from customers is that there are too many ways to do the same thing in Fabric, which results in inconsistency and challenges in managing the environment. Even if you standardize on using notebooks for running things like data quality checks, you really want to have reusable code snippets that can be developed by those people with the right expertise in your organization and called upon by everyone performing those same activities. This is what we can achieve with user-defined data functions in notebooks. These are functions written in PySpark, which take certain inputs and run a series of commands against them. The demo in the keynote shows a user being able to just call a customer segmentation function that has already been defined. Let's take a look. For segmentation modeling. So for that, I'm gonna go and create myself a couple of parameters such as recency and frequency. And the great news is one of my colleagues has already written the code for the customer segment. And the even better news is they stored in a user data function. Right. That's going to be, I announced this one, right? You, you did, I think you did just announce this one. So here's my beautiful user data function. You can see it takes in a number of different inputs. It's doing a bunch of this segmentation logic. It provides an output. And these are just awesome for just defining this reusable code I can just use everywhere. And what I really love about these as well is I can just test them out directly in line with this experience. So if I was to just input some recency and frequency data over here, I could just run it and test it out. So this is just satisfied functions, so easy, exactly. anybody can create those. And I can use them outside the fabric as well. Yes, exactly. They come with an endpoint that I can call from anywhere, including notebooks as well. So you can call a REST endpoint from outside the fabric, but in notebooks it gets even better. Yes, of course. So we wanted to make this even better than calling just a REST endpoint. We've integrated it with our user, with our notebook utils over here. So you can see I can just scan through and use IntelliSense to choose the function I want to use. Uh, and I can now create myself a function object that I can just leverage. So then in a single line of code, I can basically call this function with all of the different parameters I've just defined. And in a couple of seconds, you know, there it is. That's how easy it is to integrate. Well, yes, thanks. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Thank you. Now, all right. what about... What so hopefully you can see the benefit of having these reusable Python functions available for people to call. You can even call these functions externally via an API and can create and manage them either via the UI in Fabric or using the Visual Studio Code extension. Note that these are entirely distinct from user-defined functions in DAX, which have also been announced recently. These are Python functions which can't be used in DAX, though of course the same benefits of reusability and standardization apply to both. For me, this standardization is the first stepping stone in automation and truly taking advantage of Gen AI for business process transformation. So this is exciting stuff.